but they got him done. I asked the question of the audience yesterday, how will this Herman Cain story play? Will it knock him out of contention for president, or will his supporters rally around him more than ever, or what? Because I find the allegations against him really vague and minor, and while I'm convinced that this man is at worst a serial flirter, I wonder how this is going to play out. I think he's an older Southern gentleman who has, as part of his personality, uh, this little attempt or quirk to charm the ladies. So I see these allegations as nonsense as things now stand. The, the, they've been vague. He made me feel uncomfortable. And then when we get specifics, it was Herman Cain th- saying things like, would you sweeten my tea, sweetie? Or, you're very pretty, sweetie. Well, okay. That's not sexually harassing. So I really do believe these, these allegations are much ado about nothing. But even so, he and his campaign have really bungled the situation, and they've made him seem guilty of something somehow. This is not a, a campaign staff or a political team that I would want to see in the White House. And this is why this story does reflect on Kane and, and his, his campaign, and poorly. If you remember, or if you realize how things work, you know that oftentimes campaign staffers campaign chiefs of staff become White House staffers or White House chiefs of staff. Policy advisors, they take policy advisor positions in the White House, they take cabinet member positions in the White House, they take communication director positions in the White House. So I would ask you, do you want Mark Block, Herman Cain's campaign manager, do you want him to be Herman Cain's Karl Rove or Rahm Emanuel in the White House? <laughs> They made him look guilty of something. They totally mishandled this and totally panicked when they faced a a crisis. They had him looking guilty. They had him changing his story multiple times. They had him lashing out at the Rick Perry campaign with no evidence. They had his, his bodyguards roughing up reporters and pushing through crowds. I do believe the callers to the program yesterday who said this is significant because we've seen now a window into Herman Cain here. We've seen how he would handle a crisis, and it's not well. I do think that, that uh, they're right. So yes, this does have me even more convinced that Herman Cain is probably not ready to be president, but certainly his staff isn't ready. We can't discount what happened today, this week in the Herman campaign because it was a, a debacle, and this would be, you know, this is his team. He chose this team, and ostensibly this would be the team that would be responding to crises once they hit the White House. Now, I think that one of the callers made a good point in that if he gets far enough along in this run... You may well see a wholesale change of his staff, and you should. But I'll tell you one thing now. If Herman Cain is still sitting, well, either way, if he's sitting high in the polls at this time next week and his campaign has survived this, or if it's been a disastrous, if it's been a disastrous uh, weekend in the polls, either way, he should replace Mark Block, his campaign manager, and he should fire some of those staffers, and he should hire someone more seasoned and more serious. And here's why. If Cain started this campaign to sell some books and increase his his name recognition, and, that, and he did. That's why he started this whole thing. He had no illusion that he'd actually be president of the United States. But if he has gone from trying to sell books to trying to really win this thing, this race, then he needs to upgrade his staff. I mean, no doubt about it. And right away, he's leading in the polls now. Don't limp along with his crappy staff until you win the nomination and then make it. You make the change now. If he really wants to win this race, he will change his staffers now. He will seriously go to other Republicans. He'll go to Reince Priebus, and he'll go to Haley Barber, and he'll go to other Republicans and say, hey, recommend someone who can put together a Cracker Jack staff. I can win this thing. Because we learned one thing this week. We don't want this gaggle of clowns responding to international crises and emergencies. They'll have the nuclear bombs in the air and pointing at the wrong enemy before it's even been determined what the emergency is.